بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم في محاضرة اليوم سوف نتكلم عن القصة القصيرة وعلى صدر short story introduction definition a تعريف definition of a short story تلك بعض السنتين إذن أو إكسبيرينس وتحدثنا حول حدث واحد أو تجربة فيكشن لا تترو ودائما القصة القصيرة هي عمل خيالي وليس حقيقي عندما تكلمنا في محاضرتنا عن الاختلاف بين الخيال واللا خيال in fiction and non-fiction fiction. And about the length of the short story, is about 500 to 15,000 words in length. It can be also from 500 to 3,000 words in length. It has a beginning, middle, and end. Laha muqaddima wa wasab wa nihaya. It creates an impression on the reader, what a true author the Kukara creates an impression on the reader. So when we talk about the definition of a short story, we talk about a single event or a single experience because the short story from its name, it is short, it cannot handle more than one single event or more than one experience. And it is a fictional work, and the length of the short story ranges from 500 to 15,000 15, words. It can be from 500 words to 3,000 words. It has a beginning, middle, and end, and it creates an impression on the reader. Short story. If you want to define the short story, we say short story is a brief fictional prose narrative that is shorter than the novel and that usually deals with only a few characters. أكثر من الرواية وفي العادة يتعامل مع شخصيات محدودة. So it is a fictional prose narrative that is shorter than a novel and usually deals only with a few characters because we are restricted with the magnitude. The short story is usually concerned with a single event conveyed only one uh, only one or a few significant images or scenes, the poem encourages a kind of sitting and concise narrative. A person of Kosira that I have a Mahajur of Wahir, yet him certainly have what you saw there was in Babur Mashahed. We had a shekel in the Noah Al Khayali, you should ya ala al Ikhtasar, economy of sitting. And concise narrative, wa'amaliya, thirdiya, dhaqiqa, wa qasira. So the short story focuses on one experience, and this experience is conveyed in a few significant images or scenes. This form of short story encourages the kind of setting and concise narrative. We have to tell everything within 500 words. We have to tell everything within 15,000 words, means that we are restricted by the magnitude and the size we are of. So we cannot write forever and we cannot explain forever. You have to explain everything within 500 words. Yeah, ولكن لا تتعدى ال 500 كده وهنا هذا اللي بنعمل فيه كونسايز ناراتيف ايكونومي اوف سيتنج الايكونومي اوف سيتنج الاختصار الاختصار في كل شيء ديسبايت اس ديسبايت اتس 
a relatively limited scope, though a short story is often judged by its ability to provide a complete or satisfying treatment of characters and subjects. Even though it is limited in size, limited in scope, the short story is judged by its ability to provide a complete, satisfying treatment of its character as such. What makes a short story successful? Its ability to tell everything within that limited scope. اللي بيميز القصة القصيرة إنها ناجحة إنه يستطيع كاتب القصة القصيرة أن يقول لنا كل شيء من شخصيات ومن تجربة كل شيء في هذا الإطار المحدد ونشعر بأن التجربة كاملة فبيجي داخلنا شعور إيه كومبليت كامل ساتسفاينج تريتمنت معاملة إيه معاملة راضية معاملة وافية، اللي بشرح مخاطرة، بشرح مخاطرة وافية كاملة. To a complete or satisfying treatment of its characters as subject. Setting المكان. Setting it is the time and the location in which a story takes the place. It's called setting. It is the place. where the action of the short story takes place. المكان, when الأحداث بصير عدد. For some stories, the setting is very important, while for others, it is not. بعض القصص المكان بيكون مهم, وبعض القصص الأخرى المكان مش مهم. There are several aspects of a story of a story setting to consider when examining how setting contributes to a story. When we think of a setting, we have to put into our mind a few considerations. And how setting contributes to the development of the story. Kevin McCann, يساهم في تطور القصة القصة القصيرة. So when we say setting, we mean a place, مكان. Geographical location, مكان جغرافي. Where is the action of the story taking place? أين يحدث؟ الأحداث أين تحدث؟ Time. When is the story taking place? الوقت. متى؟ متى أحداث القصة حدثت؟ A stricken period of time, time of the day. And year. So we have a place, geographical location, where the action of the story takes place. Time, when is the story taking place? A stricken period, time of the day, year. وقت يوم سنة فترة تاريخية. Weather conditions ظروف الجو is it rainy مطر sunny مشمسة storm عاصفة social conditions الظروف الاجتماعية what is the daily life of the characters like does the story contain local color الظروف الاجتماعية كيف حياة اليومية للشخصيات what is their daily life does the story contain local color writing that focuses on the speech Speech of the people, 
dress of the people, customs of the people, mannerism of the people, behavior of the people, of a particular place. So we examine the so social conditions can be considered as a part of setting. What is the daily life of the characters? What do they address? How do they speak? How do they dress? How do they behave? شو بيلبسوا؟ كيف بتكلم؟ شو عاداتهم؟ شو تقاليدهم؟ كيف حياتهم اليومية؟ I always say that the short story is an, as an opening gate to understand people's customs, traditions, history, language, social, economic, political situation. We know more about the culture of the people while reading stories about them, stories about Afghanistan, stories about Palestine. When we read short stories of Ghassan Kanafani, we know more about Palestine. We know more about Nakba. We know more about refugees. We know we know more about the, the suffering of the Palestinian people. We know more what it means to lose one's land. لمعرفة لغات الشعوب وعاداتهم وتقاليدهم وحياتهم وهمومهم ومشاكلهم ليس فقط قصة مسلية ولكن نافذة Always I say it is an opening gate بوابة to understand people people's daily life their color, their speech, dress mannerism, customs, also mood or atmosphere is considered as a part, as a part of a short story. What feeling is created at the beginning of a story? While I'm reading the, the short story, what do I feel? How do I feel? Is it a bright? Is it cheerful? Is it fun? Is it serious? Is it dark? Is it gothic? Is it frightening? Give a mood. Should you هل شعرت بالتشاؤم؟ هل شعرت بالرعب بالخوف؟ So the mood and the atmosphere is a part of a second. The feeling created at the beginning of a story. So we have to focus on the other condition. We have to focus on everything while we are reading the short story. And part of it is the mood and atmosphere. What feeling? Is it created at the beginning of a story? Is it bright, cheerful, dark, or frightening? Plot. Al-Hak. Plot, it is a sequence of events in a story or a play. A sequence. A series of arranged events. The plot is a planned, logical series of events that have a beginning, middle, and end. The short story usually has one plot so that it can be read in one setting. Al-Hakka, Mujmu'a Murattafa Min Al-Ahbad. Hunaka Sabat and other cause and effect. Sequence of events in a story or a play, the block is a plan, a plan, contrived, logical, a 
logical, the central mount of the Ladakhdas, logical series of events having a beginning, middle, and end. The short story usually has one plot, so it can be read in one sitting. There are five essential parts of a plot. Unaka, Ajza, Muhimme, Li al Introduction. The beginning of a story where the characters and the setting, then the setting is revealed. I introduce characters in the introduction. Rising action. This is where the events of the story become complicated and the conflict in the story is revealed. Where the events become complicated and the conflict of the story is shown to the reader. Events between introduction and the climax. الأحداث التي بين المقدمة والضروة هذه نسميها rising action وهو صعود الحدث وتصعب الأحداث عندما تكون الأحداث معقدة ويبدأ يتكشف لنا الصراع and the conflict in the story is revealed events between the introduction and the climax where the event in the story become complicated and the conflict in the story is revealed. Climax, this is the highest point of interest and the turning point in the story. And the turning point of the story, the reader wonders what will happen next. Will the conflict be resolved or not? What will happen to the characters? So climax is a turning point which rendered many questions to us. What will happen next? How will the conflict be resolved? Will it be resolved? Will they marry or not? So climax, a turning point which renders many questions. Then we have the falling action. The events and complications begin to resolve themselves. What was unknown to us slowly and gradually become known. The events and complications begin to resolve themselves and the reader knows the end. And the reader knows what has happened next and what will happen next and if the conflict was resolved or not. So the events between the climax and Dunuma Huna Natakalam al falling action. الأحداث تبلش تتكشف وبدل ما تكون عندنا كان أول رايزنج أكشن تو ذا كلايمكس الآن عندنا هبوط في الأحداث إذا فولينج أكشن وهو هبوط في الأحداث دونو ما ذيس إز ذا فاينل أوت كم أور أنتانجلينج أوف إيفنتس إن ذا ستوري كونفليكت إز إسينشال تو بلوت الصراع مهم للحكة. without conflict there is no plot بدون صراع لا يوجد حكة. so when I say it is the opposition of forces which ties one incident to another and makes the plot so conflict is very important to plot we cannot imagine that there is a plot without conflict. Because when we talk about conflict, we talk about the opposition of forces, about the clashes of forces, which ties one incident to another and makes the plot. Sirah, being kuwa wa being ahdas, 
واللي بيرفض حدث مع الاخر بصير عندنا حبكه لا يمكن ان نتخيل حبكه بدون صراع دائما من اي سي او توك اباوت بلوك اي توك اباوت كونفليكت اي توك اباوت ذا كلاتشز اوف فورس اي توك اباوت ذا بوزيشن اوف فورس موف ميك ذا بلوك موف كونفليكت is not merely limited to open argument, rather it is any form of opposition that faces the main character. It is not about open argument, it is about conflict. The character faces within a short story, as said, because we are limited with the magnitude, we are restricted by the size, There may be only one central struggle. Maybe there only one single conflict. Or there may be one dominant struggle with many minor ones. As said, we are restricted by the size. So we cannot afford to have more than one conflict. So normally we will have one conflict. One clash of forces, one conflict the characters face within the short story. So conflict is not merely limited to open argument. Here, that Allah bless the hawarat of Tuha and the Tal of Tuh. Rather, it is any form of opposition that faces the main characters within a short story. There may be only one central struggle. or there may be one to me that is struggling with many of my thoughts. There are two types of conflict. External, a struggle with a force outside oneself. Internal, a struggle within oneself. A person must make some decision. overcome pain while their temper resist or urge take a vaccine against COVID-19 or not, marry or not, go to school or not, get engaged or not, travel or not. Terrible struggle. Immigrate or not, a struggle within oneself is drama and nafs. A person at one point in his life must make a decision, overcome pain, quiet their temper, resist an urge or a desire. Still, a struggle with a force outside oneself. There are four kinds of conflict. Three kinds of forces characters face. Man is man, physical, the leading character struggles with his physical strength. Body strengths against other men, force of nature, or animals. Man via circumstances, conditions. The leading characters struggle against fate, against fate, or the circumstances of life facing him or her. ظروف صراع مع الظروف مع القدر مع ظروف الحياة man via society and this is a social conflict the leading character struggles with society and when I say society I mean social institutions educational institutions religious institutions economic institutions Like a struggle we talked about in do the execute 
that is viewed against society, against educational institutions, against poverty, against all the circumstances which prevented him from achieving his dream. So the leading character struggles against institutions, not against social institutions. Against social institutions. So there are two types of conflict. There are two types of conflict, external conflict. A struggle with a force outside the self. Internal, a struggle with one so a person must make some decision, overcome pain, where is that done by result and urge. There are three kinds of conflict, man vs man, physical, the leading character struggle with his physical strength against other men. It can be between the powers of good and evil, or Man via circumstances, struggles against fate and circumstances of life. Man via society, the leading character struggles against social institutions, either religious, educational, economic, and political institutions. The struggle within oneself, the internal, which we call it the psychological struggle, as and nafsi between what internal struggle, struggle within oneself, within oneself, inside the person, where a person is forced to make a decision, an important decision in his own life, to overcome pain, to get educated, to get engaged, to get married, to immigrate, to work, to change his job, all these decisions which are important, which can be turning point in his life. Ikhba kun, inshallah, kalamna an al-qusra al-qusira, wa ta'arifaha, wa arafaha, inshallah bikun, istafadtu min hadi al-muhadara, fa ida al-muhadara hadi a'atabadku, tisushtah wa nilayk, ida nisteen, aw tutrub ta'alik, ida nisteen, tishtabku fa al-fala, tishtarku, tab'an hadi al-muhadarat, من يعني اخترت من الكتاب مباشره كتاب القصه القصيره اللي معنا فممكن انتم ما تشتروش الكتاب وتعتمدوا على المحاضره فقط ممكن تشتروا الكتاب عشان تتبعوا بس فقط وانا باشرح فانتم بتشوفوا الطريقه المناسبه في هناك بعض المحاضرات هتكون من الكتاب عشان انت او الطالب كطالب او طالبه انك أنت تحضر المحاضرة كاملة يعني أنت مش في حاجة إلى الكتاب إلا كمرجع ولكن كل شيء يكون متوفر متوفر موجود على القناة وموجود معك عشان تفهموا وتستمعوا السلام عليكم ورحمة